All right, y'all. Welcome back to the channel. Y'all already know, I, bro. I've been going, we been, I've been going crazy with these uh Kylie reactions. So we got Kylie um confide in me. Just based off the name, I got, I, it's, I can have, I do have a um a, a hint of what the song could be about just by the name of it. So let's hop straight into it. Ain't not like water. Sound like an action movie. You got the peace sign, look like blood stains. You got a pill that says call me eggs, pills. Bro, bro, why does it sound like an action movie? Like somebody just lost somebody and they're about to get revenge or something. Like, <laughs> I like it though. So basically, she questions whether or not to basically offer her assistance to someone, I guess, regardless of their identity, right? And she acknowledges that, you know, basically everybody got their, everyone experiences like emotional wounds from love, you know? And like they kind of carry like their own burdens, burdens in life. So when she was like, um, um, what's the last part? Um, what she said? Let me go back a little bit. Oh, basically, she was basically what she was saying was, um, she basically said, um, that it's basically important to share your problems. Like everybody's um problems should be shared by someone to someone, obviously. So, that I guess that's the whole point of this confide in someone. Basically, you know, share your problems, your issues, what's on your mind. You know, everybody got a voice, and you know, everybody's voice should be heard, no matter if people agree with you or not. But if you're going through something, that's basically what she's saying. Like, confide in her, share it, share it. That's why at the beginning, you see uh, lonely with a question mark. It's like, if you're lonely, you know, you need somebody to talk to or whatever. That's basically, that, I mean, that's how I'm looking at it. So, yeah. So, it's, I guess to her, it's like crucial for promoting understanding and like compassion, basically. That's how I'm looking at it. I don't know about y'all. I like that because I, I might be reaching, but when she says the problem should be shared, I'm looking at the pills. So let's say somebody got a pill problem. You know, somebody taking pills, drugs, you know, call someone if you need someone. Like, forget about those pills. Call someone. That, that's how I'm looking at it. Should be
For her, for her, I think we could look at when she says confide in me, confide in her, is basically when you're vulnerable, but also in a way trusting because it's like you're, you're trusting that I guess this person can keep the information that you tell them to themselves, basically. So it kind of suggests that she's a sing she, I was about to say singer. She's someone that um is trustworthy when it comes to someone telling their problems to her. And that's not a lot of things. That's not, you don't really see that nowadays, you know? You could tell somebody on the street, they probably gonna tell their friend, oh, so this guy ran into me today and, you know, he was just confiding in me, but you still letting the information be known to somebody else. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So that's how I'm looking at it. So, but for her, it's like, she believes, like, I guess, you know, she believes in the power of releasing those secrets, you know? It can allow, you know, people to basically, especially children, to basically, you know, come to, I guess, maybe find, like, some liberation from their problems. I don't, I don't know. I, that's the best way I could put it, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> See now that's 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 the detrimony between sticking to like the status quo or taking that risk because like I said earlier, bro, it's a risk of you telling this person your problems and stuff like that. Cause you you don't know if that person's trustworthy or not. You could confide in a stranger outside right now as we speak. You could confide in anyone at any time. I mean if they're available, but you know, because people do sleep and they got work the next day, but just saying, you could confide in anybody that's willing to hear you. It's 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 a risk. So, you know, it's a it's a gamble. But for her, it's like it, for her, she probably looking at it as it could be a gamble, but sometimes, but like the, the, uh, I guess the, I don't know, I guess, I don't know, for her, she probably looking at it as, you know, it's a gamble, but I guess the reward from it may be worth it, because you, you, you get to express yourself. Yeah, that's the best way I could put it. That's the best way I could put it. You, you get to express yourself. You, you find support, because you do have people out here willing to listen and help you with your problems. Then you got the others that they'll listen, not do nothing, and go about their day. But ain't no problem with that, because, you know, you stop, decide to listen now, you know, carry on with your day. And we all have a cross to bear, but in the name of understanding now, a problem should be shared.
Now, when it says satisfaction guaranteed, she basically telling you, if you was to do that, you are guaranteed satisfaction. With you releasing that pain, whatever is on your mind, whatever you want to get off. So, like I tell you, I think every song, there's a message behind it. So, for this, is almost, I think her message was basically, you know, observing from afar is basically not enough. You know, offer your help, offer your support, you know. And that's, I think, like, receiving support from others is a way of, you know, just navigating through life's uh, problems, challenging, you know. Because I'm pretty sure we all would want or need that one person to, you know, just talk, to express your feelings. No matter, stranger, family, friend, uh, significant other, it don't matter who it is. So, people are willing to listen, others not so willingly. So, yeah, I'm gonna leave it like that, and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Peace, we out, we go.